Why are some plants so hairy? I can't eat that leaf. Look at all those hairs. They're like little daggers. Maybe this plant is tastier? Oh no! Those hairs look like chicken feet. I'm not touching that leaf. This plant looks interesting. There are tasty looking red spots on the leaves. Don't try it. That's a sundew. Those red tipped hairs lure insects to the leaf. The sticky trichomes trap the insects and make enzymes that digest them. Well, this plant looks better. Time for lunch. Yuck! That tastes terrible. There's little balls of stuff buried in these leaves. I'm never going to get a bite to eat. <sighs> plant hairs repel insects. That is one reason plants are hairy. Plant hairs are not really hairs. They are called trichomes. Trichomes deter chewing insects, caterpillars, and fungal infections. Pointed trichomes create a physical barrier. Round tip trichomes carry insect repellent. They also help prevent damage from frost, drought, and UV light. Clear trichomes contain chemicals that absorb UV light and act as a sunscreen. These chemicals fluoresce when viewed with a special microscope. A beam of UV light excites chemicals in the leaf. This causes the chemicals to fluoresce blue. The purple passion plant has purple trichomes. Under UV light, the trichomes fluoresce blue and the purple pigment fluoresces bright pink. Plant trichomes are very useful for people too. Some trichomes are little factories that produce different types of chemicals, which are used in flavors, medicinals, and household products. In many herbs, such as oregano, the trichomes are sunken into the surface of the leaf. Catnip has pointed trichomes that make the leaves fuzzy. Under the fluorescence microscope, round, blue trichomes are embedded in the surface of the leaf. When these trichomes are broken, they emit a distinctive aroma that cats love.